Hey, it's time for another video blog, but it's nighttime right now. So I'm gonna use my tiny metallic time warping St. Francis figure to get us back to the daytime. Movie magic. All right, it worked. It's 5.30 in the afternoon, the same day. Okay, so today we're gonna do some Kinder Egg toy critiques. I'm here with special guest speaker, Richard Van. Hey. <laughs> Great introduction. We've been collecting Kinder Egg toys for a number of months now. We will never get laid. I think we'll start with these. It's a small hourglass. Yes, it uh, it goes for exactly four seconds, I believe. And you really can't measure anything with four seconds of time, except for the amount of time it takes you to get tired of Kinder Egg toys. A mouse and a moon and a little boom box here. Then another mouse in the sun. This is an you owl. Oh, you see that? We have these chunks of plastic, vaguely shaped like little gremlins, and this one has an alternate pose. He can have the innocent daydreaming in the clouds, or ladies. Okay, and these guys' creepy pedophile cousin is these guys, little rubber kangaroos. This one is actually winking at the audience, who I assume is children. And this one, who has applied way too much lipstick, is um, giving a little come hither, get in my pouch kind of look. And the instructions said that you could bounce them on the ground. <laughs> and we I'll, tried that. I'll demonstrate that right now, actually. actually. Hold on. Here's the bouncing effect. Wow. I'm pretty sure I could do that with literally any object. <laughs> <laughs> also, also, also in the... Um, uh, instructions, you can write little notes and stick them in the pouch. I don't apparently, believe that. Apparently that's what the pouch is for. The pouch is too small. That is what the direction stated. Whether that's true or not, I cannot say. I I'm gonna stick it. with this. Yeah. Here we have what appears to be a wizard robe wearing beaver holding a magnifying glass. Mm -hmm. And there are so many jokes I could potentially make about a beaver holding a magnifying glass, <laughs> but I will not. I think it's a chipmunk, and he's part of a, a sleuth team. Of like <laughs> chipmunk investigators. There were three others. Uh, you had the um, the token attractive female chipmunk. <laughs> this is the token short nerdy chipmunk. You had the other hipster chipmunk, and then the taller, dark, mysterious chipmunk. So these are like the rescuers down under. Very like very similar. The failure version. Very very similar. We actually have another magnifying glass. This one is Shrek themed. In case you were uncomfortable about holding a plastic beaver chipmunk up to your face. We have not completed any of these collections. No, but we've gotten damn close. We have, uh, yes we have. This is, uh, also part of the second collection. It's an odd sort of... What did you get? Let's go. Fairy, uh, what did you get? Ferris wheel? I'm gonna go with Carnival of Failure. It's pretty sad. And they just kind of spin around him. Oh, that's nice. And that's, that's all that one does. Sounds pretty useless. I appreciate, well, for a kinetic Kinder Egg toy, it doesn't fall apart into little pieces of shit in your hand, which I appreciate. No, this one actually just falls apart by itself later That's true. when you're not watching it. If you attempt to perform the same action as the kangaroo bouncing toys, it falls apart. It's but otherwise, apart. it's pretty hefty. Also part of the second collection, we have this guy uh, showing Shrek and Donkey in front of a uh, little swamp scene. But if that's not enough, you can pull this little lever here. <laughs> it moves, and you have a little uh, sunny day in front of what looks like it might be like a cliff. I just imagine a lonely, sure. lonely man putting on this tiny, sad play for himself. There are only two scenes in the play. My question is, what is this bulbous area above Shrek's head <laughs> in each... P There's no reason for that. It's kind of some unnecessary space. Maybe he's thinking about something. Oh, but I know. He's wait, not thinking I know about much. Far. What is he thinking about? Hold on, wait. We think the area above his head is so you can add your own haircut. Here we have Porno Fro from the 70s. Or alternative punk rock Shrek. And uh, a sad representation of our collection. We actually have three, three. three of these. <laughs> um, well, our play can have six scenes now. But not satisfied with. Merely representing Shrek in the two-dimensional form, we have a series of figurines. We have, of course, Shrek and a frightening, um, frightening look on his face. Oh my god, he's holding a scary little doll behind his back. Look at that. I do not know what that doll is for. 
Holy, he is going to kill somebody with that. I haven't seen Shrek 3, so I'm not sure who this is, but it looks like Shrek with lipstick. Now, we do have uh, two of these. Well, we can give um, him a little posse. I believe it's Princess Fiona. Yes, now, I believe that's in, correct. In her Xena uh, outfit. Xena. <laughs> um, her plastic hair blowing in the plastic breeze. And this is, might be something you don't remember from the movie. The cat being fucking massive. <laughs> Maybe Here one of the better uh, toys of this collection. This is the best toy. Is Hands the, down. Uh, the dragon. Well, if you separate this from the Shrek theme, I mean, it, you just got a tiny plastic dragon and an egg, which has been my dream since I was a child. It's pretty cool. And we have two ruffle stilt skins. Note how if you turn his head, he can actually look ten times creepier. If possible. Um, which is an achievement unto itself. <laughs> Completing the collection, we have this low relief sculpture of a gingerbread man. He looks as though he's a gladiator with a Pac-Man shaped lollipop. That lollipop is pretty outstanding. Perhaps in some sort of um, gingerbread hell. Here's, here's the scorecard if you're following along at home. Oh. We are two away from finishing this collection. Yeah, we're so close. Now we have this series of plastic bird plane-like objects. And if you look, it looks as though they're quite mechanically complicated. Maybe they can fly their wings go like this, leading you to believe they might be able to fly, but in fact, they can fly in much the same manner as the kangaroo can bounce. Failure. Notice the hook in the directions that shows how you can take this hook and you can wear it. Oh, oh wow. Look at that. Look at that. So you don't have to put it in your pocket and worry about it getting hurt. <laughs> you can just... Take it with you on the go. Ladies. We move on now to a new class of toys, which is the projectile toy. This shows a little uh, surfing individual. Apparently he's number one. <laughs> According to his shirt. According to the shirt. Now, if you pull back on the lever. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was good. that's so, not a good surfing move. It's not. He probably just broke his neck. It's more of an X Games type surfing, I believe. But, yeah. I'm not sure what score you'd get on that. He lands on his vertebrae every time. This is a fire-themed projectile toy. It also has, if you can see, a tiny little individual there. I'm not sure if he's number one. It appears as though he's just got a crazy anime haircut. He might just surf on fire, or a fire wheel, or if he's just like <laughs> this demon surfer thing. I'm gonna it's go with unclear. Demon surfer. Let's do that. Learning. Wow. Also landing directly on his neck. <laughs> These two are going to be best friends in the ER. As a part of the nautical collection, we have a little uh, sailboat. Uh, we'll see him in action here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Let's, let's get the timer. Ready, oh, set. Well, that's about right. It takes less than four seconds for that thing seconds. to sink. Let's move away from that. Let's, 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 let's forget that it happened, shall we? <laughs> Okay, and this, I said the dragon was my favorite, but these are actually my favorite toys. Two out of four, not bad. It's half done. Let's see. You can soak up water with them. And then these little uh, holders are so you can put them in between your fingers. No, nope. right there, right there. Let's see. And then squirt them. Okay. I gotta demonstrate on somebody. <laughs> Why do they... Why do they have these finger things and not just be little squirties? I don't know. I think it makes them slightly cooler in the I eyes think it of makes small them kind children. Of but uh, I feel like they could take someone out with this. Yeah, these might be the most successful yeah. of all the toys. It's, it's not often that you, that you, can say that you a get while. yeah a Kinder toy that's cute, actually works, and uh, isn't a waste of plastic. Well, of course it's a waste of plastic, but. <laughs> Oh, so sad when they die. Uh, I guess that concludes our, our Kinder Toy extravaganza. We hope you've enjoyed our formal critique. Uh, I've stopped collecting Kinder toys. What? <laughs> I was not aware of that. Yeah. Well, we'll never complete the collection. I don't think we were ever going to complete the collection. Okay. And that's what haunted me. Wow. Well, I guess then this is a formal our formal retirement from the Kinder Egg Toy Collection business. Yeah. It's been a good ride. It has been. I think I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Turn on the camera. <laughs>